also appear a bit boxy if I'm being honest, but Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well and I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful holiday season. As you can tell by the title, today's video will be about what is new in my wardrobe, specifically my fall and winter wardrobe. As always, these videos are going to be a bit lengthy and chatty, so I suggest you grab your favorite beverage. I have my cranberry water here. As mentioned, this video will focus on what is new in my wardrobe for the fall and winter season. I recently bought two things from Zara this year. However, last year I did accumulate a couple things from Zara. So the first item I got from Zara is this long cardigan. I would say it's a cardigan because it does have buttons running all the way down. It's super lightweight. I thought it was cute and plus it was on sale. I got it for $19. A Canadian. As always, I will link the exact items in the description box down below. However, some of these items may be sold out. The material is super lightweight, which I think could be a great layering piece. So I'm just reading the tag. Apparently, you can wear this item multiple ways. You can wear the buttons in the front as you would with a button-up shirt, but you can also wear it like this so the buttons appears in the back. I got a size small the medium was quite large even the small runs big and the fabric does stretch it does have a lot of stretch uh, I definitely could have gotten away with an extra small but they didn't have any the second item I picked up was this this top contains 50% wool I absolutely love it it does have buttons running down on the side which you can unbutton it does have vertical ribbed um, pattern going along the shirt I love the high neck yeah, same as the other shirt. This was on sale for $19.99, which I thought was a bargain because it does contain a high percentage of wool. It's quite thin, but again, I would most likely use this as a layering piece. Also from Zara, which I picked up late last year, was this herringbone pattern uh, single-breasted blazer. It is so heavy. The material is so thick. I've worn this without a coat and coat winter in Canada if you live in Canada you know this kept me warm it is quite heavy to be honest it does have very structured shoulder it has a uh, shoulder pads in it so it gives you a structured look it can also appear a bit boxy if I'm being honest but I like it and it's a bit oversized this runs extremely big I got the extra small and it's still massive on me it contains two front pocket as well as a vent in the back which I need to cut. It is fully lined, which I love. Love the stitching, the craftsmanship. It was extremely well done. Even the interior stitching, nothing is poking out. There's no thread. Just wish that the outer shell was made out of a warmer type of fabrics. And I love the color because it does fit into my fall and winter wardrobe. Now, moving on to Massimo Duty. It's been a while since I've shopped on Massimo Duty. Was able to pick up this striped I don't know how many sweater in that style that I have, but I just love the beige off-white with stripe, black stripes type of sweater. It was actually on sale for $89.99. The material, again, it is so thick and heavy. The front contains three buttons. I got a size large because I did pick this up in store. I tried on the medium and I thought it was just too, not tight, but it didn't fit as I would like. Been holding up quite well. I've washed it three times already and it still looks amazing so the next item is a pair of denim which i got from abercrombie and fitch which has been a while since i've shopped on their website i even forgot that they existed i love their denim collection this pair of denim on sale i believe it was under a hundred dollars during their black friday sale for reference my size is a 27 the length is 4x always take extra extra long but I love this color I've been looking for a really nice dark washed blue denim and I haven't been able to find one that fit me quite well I am also looking for a black hair so I'm definitely gonna buy 
by the black style of this exact denim. One thing to keep in mind is that most of their denims are made out of 99% cotton. There's definitely no stretch, no give, no take. So I would highly recommend that you stay true to your size. Another item that I got from the Abercrombie & Fitch website was this scarf wool coat. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. I absolutely love the color. It is made out of um, mixed fibers. It contains 38% of wool, which I think was, was okay for the price range. And one thing to keep in mind, this does come a bit cropped on me. Like the coat itself, it's super stunning. I love the two pockets, side pockets that it has. It does contain buttons running down vertically in the front. Comes with a matching wool scarf, which is also connected by buttons at the neckline. The stitching in the back was extremely well done. There are some area where the threads are like poking out. Overall, I think it's a great piece to have in your collection. The interior is fully lined and this coat, it does come in two other different colors. Now moving on to shoes and accessories. The first thing I want to start with is this perfume that I got from Zara. I don't know where I've been living, but apparently I didn't know that Zara sold perfume until I went to their store one day. I've noticed a whole collection and I was able to pick up this perfume called Bohemian Oud. It smells so good. But yeah, but it smells extremely amazing. So if you're interested, it's called Bohemian Oud and it's the Eau de Parfum. Next item is this cute burgundy red bag that I got from this uh, secondhand shop. Such a cute pouch. It has one single button. Just open it and on the inside, it contains three compartment. This can be worn as a clutch or as a crossbody. It does come with straps. Another big purchase that I did last year was my Chanel shoes and this Chanel classic flat bag. So starting off with the shoes, these have been on my wish list for so long. The Chanel classic sling bags. I've been wearing them a lot, especially during the fall this year. Absolutely love them. They're such a classy and stunning shoe. I wouldn't say they're an investment. I don't know if they go up in price. They're extremely comfortable. One thing I would mention is that if you are thinking of buying the Chanel sling bags, consider sizing up because I got these in Europe. Normal size is seven, but with these, I had to go up all the way to a size eight. I couldn't go any bigger than a size A, then the, the sling in the back would be too big. And the second thing is that it will take you a while for you to braid them in. And they do crease quite a lot. I just love them. It's like one item I don't think I'll ever sell or get rid of. And you can dress them casually or dressy. The next item is my Chanel Classic Flap. This was actually given to me for my birthday. This is another item in my wardrobe I have not been able to put down. They're constantly in rotation because such an amazing bag. It's such a great investment piece to have in your wardrobe. I absolutely love it. Interior space is quite confined, but, but yeah, I've worn this with like a dressier outfit as well as a casual outfit. Like it's multifunctional. You can wear it as a crossbody, as a clutch, as a shoulder bag. Chanel has yet again increased their pricing. So yeah, that is one of the new additions in my wardrobe the last pair of shoes that i got is these loafers from gh bass i actually found out about this brand on tiktok and i'm so happy that i did because the quality of their loafers are unmatched so the pair of loafers that i got from their website is the whitney whitney weejung woman loafers it does come in two other different color. It comes in a black and white as well as a fully black loafer. I went with the uh, cognac color. I've worn them three times. It's taking me a bit of time to break them in because the leather is quite stiff. So it will take me a couple wear to fully soften uh, the leather. Like the stitching runs along the perimeter of the sole. Both pair have the brand stamping 
at the bottom on the inside as well they are extremely comfortable the stitching is well done the only thing is the leather that's a bit tough right now i have to wear them with socks otherwise i will get blisters can be worn with pretty much any outfit a little water break and finally the last item is from this little store that likes to play the spending game so i finally got my dream bag it is a kelly 25 in epsom leather and the color is a two but i feel like i need to make a separate video stay tuned for the upcoming video oh good i haven't worn it because she's two weeks old the leather is incredible because i always watch videos of people talking about how amazing the quality of hermes bags are but to finally have one and actually see it firsthand is mind-blowing like the stitching the craftsmanship the details that went into this bag is amazing like i said i will create a separate video of of this bag the pro the con what i love what i love less although it's a bit rigid the shape is very structured and confined it does fit a lot of um items i will be posting up videos to show you guys what fits in the kelly 25 she's a cutie and her name is Edna. So there you guys have it. This concludes the end of the video of what is new in my fall and winter wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out my other videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment down below your favorite items. And if you enjoy watching these type of content, please do hit the bell notification and subscribe down below so you don't miss out anytime I post. Once again, thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.